This is the solution to quiz six. So for this antiderivative, let's go through the Riesz procedure. So is it exactly one of the antiderivatives that we know? No, it isn't. Is there something algebraic we can do? Uh, no, there's nothing we can do. Is there a substitution we can make? The answer is no. So then by process of elimination, it must be by parts. So labeling this, that's an algebraic factor. <clears throat> and this log is a logarithmic factor. And using the lay an egg <laughs> acronym from lecture, that informs us that it must be the case that u is log x, and then dv is always everything else. <clears throat> there are four symbols in the biparts formula. From u, we can get du, which is 1 over x dx. And from dv, we can get v, which will be 4 thirds x cubed. And remember, in biparts, we omit the arbitrary constant at this position. <clears throat> so the right-hand side of biparts is uv minus the antiderivative of v du. <clears throat> so that would be log x times 4 thirds x cubed minus the antiderivative of 4 thirds x cubed times 1 over x dx. <clears throat> so this is log x times 4 thirds x cubed minus 4 thirds antiderivative x squared dx. <clears throat> and so that's log of x times 4 thirds x cubed minus 4 thirds x cubed over 3 plus a constant. <clears throat> and part B is actually a broken exercise, so please accept my apologies. It won't be graded. <clears throat> uh, a better version of this uh, exercise that would have been, <laughs> that would have worked uh, and would have been quite difficult to solve because it requires two techniques in a row would have been log x cubed plus 2x and then instead of divide by this we'll multiply by this so 3x squared plus 2 <coughs> dx So remember, so understand what I'm saying is that the exercise as stated was, was not good. It's not solvable, uh, easily anyway. Uh, a better version would be this. And I'll leave it to you to try and figure out what the solution to that would be. <clears throat> so part A, sketch this y is x plus 2 on negative 4 to 3. <clears throat> well, we're plotting y is x plus 2. So that's a line of slope 1 <clears throat> and y-intercept 2.
and we're going from negative 4 <clears throat> to 3. So that's what the plot looks like. <clears throat> it would be very useful, seeing as the next question is find the area. It would be very useful to know that point right there. <clears throat> so that's when x plus 2 is equal to 0. So that's when x is negative 2. And as for answering the next exercise, you could use an integral to do this. And that would be fine. Uh, however, this exercise was intended, and it was hoped, that you would observe that these are triangles. And therefore, integration is not necessary. You can just use your grade school knowledge. <clears throat> so the graphite triangle, the triangle on the right, if you plug in 3 <clears throat> into y is x plus 2, then you'll determine that this is height 5, so this is height 5, and this base is also 5. So its area is 25 over 2, base times height over 2. The green triangle If you plug in negative 4 to x plus 2, you get that this is negative 2. So that means that this measurement is 2 in absolute value. And then this base is also 2. So the area of this triangle is base times height over 2, which is 4 over 2. So adding these two together, the area is 4 over 2 plus 25 over 2, so that's 29 over 2. And I'd like to point out that you could have used an integral, but it's easier to answer the question <clears throat> from a geometric point of view. And finally, evaluate this to three places past the decimal. Okay, so then this, by now on question one, you should have observed that this is a biparts quiz. So this is a biparts integral. So that's an algebraic term, an algebraic factor, and this is an exponential factor. So that tells us what <coughs> u and v are. So we'll take u is x, dv is everything else, so du is dx, v is e to x, so the right hand side of by parts is uv evaluated from 3 to 5 minus integral 3 to 5 v du. So this will be x e to x from 3 to 5 minus 
integral 3 to 5 of e to x dx. So evaluating this, this will be 5e to 5 minus 3e to 3. So that's this. Then minus e to x evaluated from 3 to 5. So that will be 5e to 5 minus 3e to 3 minus e to 5 minus e to 3. So it says evaluate this <coughs> to three places past the decimal. So I'll simplify this just a little bit. So this is 5e to 5 minus 1e to 5. So that's 4e to 5. And this is minus, so negative 3e to 3 plus uh, an e to 3. So this is minus 2e to 3. And plugging this in to the machine, 4 times exponential of 5 minus 2 times exponential of 3 <coughs> is 553.1. Five, rounded to three places past the decimal.